Welcome back sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, dito ulit tayo sa sinesend sa isa sa ating mga followers. Again, marami ito. So, dalawa lang ang sagutan natin ito. Regarding ito sa ratio. At yung ratio dito, meron tong men, women, at children. So, basahin muna natin yung problem. In a group of Men, women, and children, the ratio of men to children is 2 is to 3. And the ratio of women to children is 5 is to 8. Give the ratio of men to women. Let's do solution number 1. Ganito lang siya kadali. So, meron tayong men. Men to, yung una ay men to children. So, men to children, tapos meron tayong women. Ratio of men to children, 2 is to 3. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Yung naunang men, yan yung 2. So, 2. 2 is to 3, yung children, yan yung 3. Next. The ratio of women to children is 5 is to 8. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Yung women, yan yung 5. Yung children, yan yung 8. So, therefore, ito yung 8 natin. Yung women, yan yung 5. Nakasunod ba kayo? Hindi kayo nalilito dito? So, ngayon, ganito lang siya kasimple ang gagawin natin. Mag-multiply lang tayo. 5 times 3 and this is 15. 8 times 3 and this is 24. 8 times 2 and this is 16. Yung tanong, give the ratio of men to women. Men to women. So, ang ratio nila ay 16 is 2. 15, it's letter D. Now, let's do solution number 2. Dito tayo sa my X and Y. Men to children. So, sa given natin men to children, yung ratio nito ay 2 is to 3. So, ito yung 2x, 3x. Next, ratio of women, women to children. So, women to children ay 5 is to 8. So, gawin naman natin, parisan natin ito ng y. 5y, 8 Y. Yung magkapares na ito, meron tayong parihong children. So, ibig sabihin nito, equal itong si 3X that is equal to 8Y. Now, para makuha natin yung value ni X, since si 3 ay pang multiply, dyan pang divide na yan dito sa 8Y. So, therefore, this is 8, 8 over 3Y. Now, yung tanong, give the ratio of men to women. Ito yung men to women. So, yung ratio dito ay 2x is to 5y. Meron tayong value nitong x, itong x na ito, which is itong 8 over 3y. At ito ay i-multiply natin ng 2. So, kopyahin muna natin itong 5y. Now, paano ito i-multiply? Whole number yan siya, kaya dun yan sa numerator natin i-multiply. 2 times 8 and that is 16. So, this is 16 over 3y is to 5y. Para makancel natin yung denominator na 3, i-multiply natin yung buong equation by 3. So, itong 3 times 16 over 3y, makancel na natin yan. Matitira na lang dito ay 16y. Then, 3 times 5 and this is 15y. Now, yung ratio sa men to women, kasi ito yung men to women, ang ratio dyan ay 16 is to 15. I-cancel na yan yung y na yan, kaya ang sagot dito 16 15. So, ngayon, kayo nang mamili kung saan sa mga solutions. Para sa akin naman, mas maganda yung solution number 1. Now, next. 
If the ratio of Andrea's allowance to that of Bert's is 5 is to 4, and the ratio of Bert's allowance to that of Carl's is 2 is to 7, what is the ratio of Andrea's allowance to that of Carl's? Now, dun muna tayo sa solution number 1. Meron tayong Andrea's allowance to Bert. So, si Andrea... Tapos si Bert. Ang ratio ay 5 is to 4. Next, ratio of Bert's allowance to car. So, ito namang si Bert to Carl ay 2 is to 7. Ang tanong, what is the ratio of Andrea's allowance to that of Carl's? So, ito yung tanong, yung ratio nilang dalawa. Now, let's do solution number 1. 4 times 7. Madali lang to solution number 1. This is 28. 4 times 2, this is 8. 5 times 2, this is 10. So, ito na yung sagot. 10 is to 28. Pero, hanapan natin yan ang greatest common factor para masimplify natin yan. At ang greatest common factor dito ay 2. 10 divided by 2, and this is 5, 28 divided by 2, and this is 14. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 5 is to 14. Now, kung gusto niyo makita ulit yung solution number 2 natin. So, isolve ulit natin ito yung may x and y. So, meron tayong si Andrea at itong si Bert. Ang ratio nila ay 5 is to 4. So, Andrea will be 5x and Bert will be 4x. The ratio of Bert's allowance to that of Carl, so see si Bert at si Carl. Ang ratio naman nila dito ay 2 is to 7, so ito naman yung y natin, 2y, 7y. So, meron tayong parihong Bert dito. Therefore, this is 4x Equal yan siya sa 2y. Kahit saan sa mga variables dyan ang pwede natin i-isolate. Anyway, gusto kong i-isolate yung y. Since si 2 naman ay pang-multiply dyan, pang-divide na yan sa kabila. So, in other words, nag-divide na to both sides. Y na lang ang natitira na y equals 4x over 2. Or, 4 divided by 2 and that is 2. So, this is 2x. Yan yung value ni y. Now, balikan natin yung tanong, what is the ratio of Andrea's allowance to that of Carl's? So, this is 5x is to 7y. Meron tayong value ni y dito, which is 2x. So, yung value ni y dito ay 2x. At yan ay i-multiply natin sa coefficient ni y, which is 7. At kopyahin yung the rest. 7 times 2x, this is 14x. Kopyahin natin si 5x. Now, ngayon, pwede na natin i-cancel out itong x na yan. Ang matitira na lang ay 5 is to 14. Yan na yung sagot. Letter D, 5 is to 14. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.